This is a tutorial video on how to pair and configure your Aeon Lab smart switch to your Ross 3001. For this demonstration, we have an Aeon Lab switch right here. We have a Aeon Labs controller here. We have a Ross 3001 and we have an iPad Air running the 8.3 version of the Ross companion app, which can be found in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. First thing I want to do is establish that this device is not paired to the system right now. If it is paired, please refer to the unpair video on how to unpair it if you'd like to do so. So from the application, we'll go ahead and bring down the drop down menu. We'll go to Ross Home and we'll go to Devices. Under Devices, you'll notice that there's only a controller there right now. That's because the Aeon Labs controller is physically inserted into the Ross 3001. To pair this device, I'm going to remove the controller and I'm going to press the button one time. Once I do that, it's going to start flashing slowly. I'm then going to go and click on the button right here on the Aeon Lab smart switch. You'll notice that it's blinking right now as well. That's because that is also in pair mode. If this device had been previously paired to another controller, this would be a solid blue connection. So I'm going to click on that one time. Once I do, my controller is going to flash three times like it just did. That means that the device is now actually paired. So I'm going to take the controller, insert it back into the Ross 3001, and we're just going to wait a minute or two for it to actually go ahead and configure. You'll notice that everything was removed for a second from the app, both the controller and the dimmer, because I had removed the controller from the device. Once I put it back in, not only did my controller come back, but now I have a dimmer icon here as well, named Device 5. To go ahead and change the device name from Device 5 to something that's more uh, user-friendly, such as Front Door Lamp, I'm going to click on the dimmer icon. I'm then going to come to the side of the application, and I'm going to, next to Name, I'm going to click on that arrow. Where it says Device 5, there's a little grayed out X there. If you click on that X, it's going to remove everything. I'm then going to go ahead and type, I don't know, uh, library lamp, because this is going to go in my library. I'm going to click library lamp. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click on the back arrow. My device is now renamed library lamp, and I can go ahead, turn it on and off from this device right here if I had a lamp connected to it. So simple as that. Nothing else that you as a user need to do except click on the controller and click on the device one time. Very simple, very user friendly.